Hey everyone, ZeroJD here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of Panic Porcupine, and you can probably guess from behind the uh, logo there that it's a very, very Sonic-y game. Very Sonic-y, down to a point where you're rescuing tiny little animals from a uh, genius inventor while going through these levels at very high speeds, and you can curl up into a ball. They actually even make a uh, joke about uh, a hedgehog hero not being there because he got a movie deal. I've actually beaten the first area here, which is... Uh, I'll just, I'll just let you see the name of it. Hills that are green. And the first area had uh, 10 levels here, which the 10th level being a boss. Uh, so this almost seems like it was going to be a platformer at one point, or it, it has a aspect of that where before you fin can finish the levels, you have to collect the little birds in the level. You just can't get to the end of it. But we're going to go to uh, this uh, not carnival zone. Okay, so I can run back and forth. Ooh, I got a terminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run back and forth. I can become a ball, but only when I'm going downwards. There we go. Wow. Oh, that's great game. There are a lot of points like that where it's like if you just don't react instantly, you are dead. And also, in all of the beginning levels, there were no checkpoints at all. We. All right, so I have to jump here. Nope. Awesome. Uh, this game doesn't control the best. Uh, there was one specific level earlier where, uh, you know, in uh, Sonic, you had those poles that you could go around and then you leap off of, like you circle them. Uh, God, this had the exact same thing. But figuring out when you could actually jump off of them to go a certain direction seemed random. There we go. Oh. And some of the stuff that's set up in these levels just seems mean. Like that. And I hit jump there. But this has been par for most of the previous levels. Just kind of low quality Sonic. There we go. We made it. And I'm sure there'll be another one. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's, and that's the entire level. And I missed 20 eggs, but eggs don't really seem to do anything. All right, let's go. And, nope. Almost. We hold on, hold on, stop. Come on. And there's no if you're in this mode, there's like if you're and you're going downhill, there's no way to stop. You you can't push it. You have to jump and then land again, which is annoying. Oh gosh, come on. Oh, come on. The momentum just feels really weird and not good. Oh. Oh, gosh. Come on. I just need to get in here. There it goes. No. Ugh. So now I get to do all that fun stuff all over again. That is a fun sound, though. Can I just go up? Oh, okay, cool. The not having checkpoints thing is like probably the most annoying part of it. Implement a live system, give us checkpoints. Easy to do. I don't know why that's happening. And the eggs seem pointless, because in Sonic, rings are your lives, and in this, eggs are just there. Oh, well. There we go. All right, didn't touch anything that time. Perfect.
Yay, I got it. Good for me. But yeah, like, I didn't die on it, but the first boss, since there's no checkpoints, if you get hit... So what it was doing, he had a ship in the middle, uh, and he had these... Oh gosh, this is annoying. I'm st Oh boy. Uh, he had a, uh, sh a ship in the middle, and then he had a ring of the little birdies around him, and you had to hit the birdies... And you have to just keep launching yourself at him. And there was... Uh, what's it called? Nope. There were spikes all around. And it was just stressful to like, well, if I... What happens if you get to the very last birdie? It was one of those things, if I, if I get to the very last birdie and die, I would probably turn off the game. Because I wouldn't want to do it again. Ah... The fact that you can't get out of this ball mode without actually touching solid ground after a jump is annoying. Oh gosh, let me out. All right, there we go. Couldn't it? There was... It's just tons of frustration because you don't feel like you're in control. And I know that the older Sonic games could be kind of brutal and stuff like that, but this just seems like brutal because there wasn't like decent planning done. Or I made it. Uh oh, that would have been really annoying. So you're probably wondering what happens if you don't collect a bird. Uh, you have to go back and find it. Oh my gosh, this is not so annoying to deal with. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. It is kind of funny, though, that uh, in the little, like, demo screen that you were watching earlier, uh, the whoever's playing it, or I guess whatever they have going, is, uh, dies. Like, oh, well, whoever is playing it, or even the computer playing it, can't really, oh my gosh, can't really even figure it out. Alright, I got that one. It's like, here, there should be a checkpoint right here. And if I'm supposed to go down, the bumper should be hitting me downwards, not continually popping me upwards and resetting my progress. That causes annoyance. All right, good. Why is the screen so far up? There we go. We got it. I'm just going to say if that bouncy area that was bouncing, like bouncing you upwards continually when you wanted to go down had a spike on the end of it, at the bottom of it, and uh, I hit it, this video would have been over. Nope. 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 I, I think that's enough. I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA fans channel. This this game has not been fun. It's been more frustrating than anything else. And I think that one level we just played kind of showed that exactly what it is. Uncontrollable bouncy areas that will send your progress back. If, if it's uncontrollable and sending you forward, it's a nice spectacle to watch. But if it's sending you backwards and calling annoying, uh, making it annoying to play, no. Thank you for watching. Bye.